The next example of beneficial positive feedback loop is during a blood clot. If blood vessels tear open, the body needs to act fast before the blood drains out and suffocates surrounding cells. The injured blood vessels expose substances that will invite platelets to move in. The platelets are activated and bind to each other to cover the open wound, while producing signaling molecules at the same time. The increased number of molecules recruit even more platelets that now produce a vast amount of signaling molecules. The loop continues until the wound is closed and sealed by the fibrin molecules. Later on, some of the signaling molecules also induce the release of molecules that break down the clot, so it doesn't become detrimental to the blood flow. Another important example of positive feedback is its role in the process of childbirth. When a baby is ready to be delivered, there is an increased pressure on the cervix. This pressure signals the brain to release the oxytocin hormone to promote contraction, which leads to more pressure, more hormone release, and more contractions until the baby is delivered safely. If the positive feedback response does not come into action, there will not be enough contraction to push the baby out. When the baby is delivered and no more pressure is detected in the cervix, the positive feedback loop stops. 